What is going on you guys? The Yak is back with another video and, oh shit, restart? <laughs> oh shit. What is going on you guys? The Yak is back with another video and it is Tech Tip Tuesday and today I'm going to be talking about my number one tool and that's my bandsaw. Alright, so the saw that we're going to be talking about today is the Grizzly G9742 and I originally did my research on bandsaws and this one came in at a very affordable price. There's a couple other manufacturers that make this exact same bandsaw. I'm pretty sure they're manufactured in the same Chinese facility, but um, Grizzly's caught my attention because it was more affordable than those other brands like Jet and I knew that their customer service was great. So I decided to give it a try. I've had this saw for about five years now and I haven't had any issues with it. So let's take a look at some of the features on why this bandsaw is so great uh, for fabrication and just general metal cutting. All right, so one of the main reasons that I chose this saw over you know, some of the lesser, cheaper saws was this function right here, and it's the swivel head on this saw. So it is a huge time saver. What I can do is I can just loosen this guy right here, and I can literally take the whole head of the saw and I can pivot this thing up to 60 degrees, okay? And then once I'm at the, say I want 25 degrees, I'll go to 25, I'll lock it in. And then another great feature is the automatic down feed, hydraulic down feed. So I just kind of set it to what I want, how slow or how fast, depending on how you turn this knob, is how fast it's gonna go, okay? So you can set a cut and then walk away, do something else, and then once it's finished doing the cut, it'll automatically turn off the saw for you, okay? So you can also lock this out, bring back up the saw head. So you have another cut you need to do, put it in there, clamp it down, adjust this. You know, now you're making a straight cut. You go right back to zero, lock it in, hit the down feed, and then go do something else. So those are the features that I wanted in a saw to save time because ultimately time is money and I don't want to have to sit over here and baby this saw. So that's, that's what makes this saw so great. All right, so another great feature is this saw is a horizontal and a vertical cutting saw. So all you have to do to vertically cut is I just leave this Allen bolt loose so I can just unscrew it with my fingers. So just thread this guy out. and that disengages the hydraulic down feed. And then from that point, all you, all you gotta do is lift the saw head up. And now you are in the vertical cutting um, position. So we'll talk about the table that I made and I'll show you how to set it up real quick. All right, so it's this easy to add a table to this saw. All you gotta do is undo these screws for the uh, blade guard here. So take these off. And then all this is is a flat piece of aluminum plate and you can see that I actually had to rob it for some uh, aluminum the other day. Um, that's about how much I care about this piece of plate because I can always just run out and get another one and uh, drill these holes out. So what I did was I just took this piece and I placed it right over this plate, marked the holes, drilled them out, and then I literally took the plate and I sawed it into the table, or into the uh, saw, basically. And then, so it sits like that. And then all you gotta do is take your screws, put them in there, and thread them in. And you can take a drill bit and just kind of uh, drill a smaller hole that will fit the screws and then take a larger one and kind of recess them in there. So once you put these in there, you're pretty much ready for some vertical cutting, which we will demonstrate right now. So what I have here is a eighth inch aluminum piece of angle iron and I'm gonna do a demonstration of say I need to notch this side of the angle out um, how easy that will be. So 
turn on the machine. And all I gotta do is make sure it's nice and flat on the table, apply some downward force, and then just start feeding it in. Now, I could probably go a little faster than this. It makes pretty quick work of aluminum, but I don't wanna be too hard on the blade. So say that's about as deep as we need to go. I'm gonna pull it back out. Then I'm just gonna hit the other side this way. That's it, just like that. Nice clean cut and pretty quick. And as you can tell, I'm talking to you guys right now, so it's not all that loud. All right, so I just showed you guys some vertical cutting. Now we'll talk. Now I'll show you some horizontal cutting. So I got a piece of ang steel angle iron chalked up in here. Once I'm ready, again, I'm just gonna turn the saw on. Make sure that my hydraulic down feed is in the closed position. And then once everything looks good, I'm go ahead and gauge it. Get it down to the position just before it starts hitting the metal. And then I'm gonna slow it down. Once I like where it's at, I can just walk away and let it cut. All right, so just to show you guys the quick swivel feature and the time saver that it is, all I gotta do is bring the saw back up, set my angle, say I'm cutting this one at 10 degrees, I'm gonna swivel it over to 10, Lock it in. I need to bring this out. Turn the saw back on. Come down. Let it cut. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up my review of this Grizzly metal cutting bandsaw. I just want to do that for this tech tip because this bandsaw has been invaluable to the shop here. We use this thing every day, whether it be cutting stainless steel, aluminum intercooler piping, exhaust, you name it, it does it all. Um, I know some guys like to say that you need to run a wet saw if you're cutting like stainless and uh, you know harder alloys, but that's simply not the case. Um, I use this thing for everything as long as you have a good blade on it and you're slow with that down feed, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, subscribe, like the video, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.